Hello beautiful people, my name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a great day. And today we're talking about palettes. Yes, I love palettes. So today we're talking about some undupable shades. Now I got a lot of crap last time I did a video like this, like a year ago. People were like, I can do that with this. Da -da 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 -da. But it's not that serious. Um, but I just looked through some palettes in my collection. I was like, this is a really unique shade that I don't think I have another part in my collection. So today we're going to swatch some of these, tell you what I think is unique, and which shades I picked out that I think are undupable. So without any further ado, I sound stuffy. Let's get into the video. Alright guys, as always, all makeup on this channel is cruelty free, so are all the palettes that I'm mentioning in today's video. And if you have any these palettes, please let me know if you agree with the quality or the color being completely unique. So, let's get started. I would also love to know what shade you think is undupable down below, because like, I would love to look it up and be like, ooh, that looks really unique. And then need more palettes in my life. But, let's get started with the first one, which is the Jeffree Star Blue Blood Palette. And know what you guys are thinking, there's so many blues in the world. I'm not actually talking about the blue shade in this palette. So this is the Blue Bud palette. Oh, it's so pretty on camera. I need to use this more. It's so pretty. So when it came to um, which shades I thought were undupable in this palette, I was like, first I look at this color, I'm like, that's really unique. But to me, when I think of the Blue Bud palette, I don't even think of blue eyeshadow. I think of this shade right here. This one is called Cullinan, and it's gorgeous. Okay, okay. I love Ice Cold Skin Frost from Inner Corner Highlight, right? Every day of my life. This is the one thing I want in a giant skin frost pan. It's like ice cold, um, but it's softer and it's a little more vibrant. It's a little less yellow. It's a little more like stark white. Like, ugh. it's so soft and buttery feeling. Like, the texture of this is out of this world. There are tons of white, like, icy highlights in the world. But this shade, it's so soft. And in the inner corner highlight, like, oh my god, it's just... It's the most beautiful thing in the entire world. It does not do it justice being swatched out like this. It's just a silvery, icy white highlight. But it's not silver where it's going to look weird in your inner corner highlight and like make your under eyes look darker. It's not going to pull blue so your veins pop out. It's just beautiful. It's so soft and buttery compared to other inner corner highlights like that. I know you can use it on the lid. I just think of inner corner when I look at this color. It's just that the quality of the texture of it is beautiful, and so is the color, so I am a connoisseur of icy white shades or like champagne-y shades through the lid, but this beats all of them. I just wish it came in a single or a giant pan, because I don't want to reach into this giant big bulky palette that's hard to open for that one shade all the time, so that's the only downside, but it's stunning. Next up, let's make some controversy by saying Jeffree Star and then talking about a Kat Von D palette. This is the Satan Center palette. It was limited edition and it's huge. Um, and since it's huge and bulky, I store with my Jeffree Star big and bulky palettes because like all the awkward ones have to go together. I don't care what kind of like controversy that causes, but this is the Satan Center palette. I never reached for this palette. I don't know the last time I used it, but it's so pretty. And the one shade that comes to mind when I think of something in here that's undupable, even though there's so many colors in here, it's this shade right here, which is called Heaven. And it doesn't look very unique in the pan, but it's a hybrid between a lavender and a silver. And honestly, depending on what you put around the look, like whatever you put in the crease or whatever, you put this in the lid, depends on what kind of way it pulls. It's not a duochrome. It's just like a normal, shimmery, metallic-y shade. But, first, I'm going to put my hand. For some reason, the different colors you put around it makes it look more purple. This time it looks more silver. Oh, there it looks more purple. Then it looks more silver. Depending on what you put in your crease, what you put on your lid, it pulls a different way. And it's just really unique. I don't usually have something that's so icy, but kind of purple at the same time. So the shade Heaven, the shade Heaven in the Satan Center palette, I feel like is the most unique out of this palette and definitely the one that I think I would want on its own in a separate palette. Maybe from a less controversial brand so people don't give me crap about it, you know? You know? Maybe? A little bit? Okay, I don't know. Here, um, that's this one. Next up is this palette from Beauty by Stomi. It is the Remedy palette. And it's definitely this pink shade. Now, not necessarily for the color. There are tons of pink shades that are kind of a pinky, purpley, shimmery, metallic -y shade. It's for the texture of this one. I'm going to try to, like, show you as best I can. Let's try, like... Ugh! I didn't mean to put my nail on it. But it's just kind of got a squish to it. It's kind of like the Mochi palettes by NYX. But it doesn't dry out and it's hyper pigmented. Like, this thing's pigmented. 
And for some reason, I don't know what it is about this, it goes a long way. Like, I can keep spreading this out really far. And it has, like, little tiny glitter reflex in here, but it's not a glittery shade, I'd say. There's something about it that keeps it kind of moist and squishable without being a pressed glitter. It's not a, ge a jelly or a gummy shadow. I've had this palette for a really long time, and this one always stays like a NYX Mochi palette with some little bit of give to it. But it's very dry in texture, so it's very unique, very strange. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's on purpose, but it's really beautiful. Next up, I'm sure my first undupable shade video, I included this one, but it is in the California Dream Palette by Lorac, which is so old, but it's still a favorite. <laughs> and it's the shade Kitty Cat. It's this shade right here. It doesn't look like a very unique color. Just because it's undupable doesn't make it like an extravagant, like, neon color. Um, but there's something about this color right here, the formula for it is stunning even after all these years, and something about the quality of like, it's not crumbly, it's not super super soft, but it's so spreadable and smooth, like it makes my eyelid look so smooth when I wear this color, it is so pretty, it's a very unique looking color, like it kind of, it's a purple, definitely purple. But it definitely pulls certain kinds of brown. You never see a purple shade. Because look, it's like an icy, silvery, purpley shade. That pulls very brown sometimes, depending on what you wear with it. So I find this shade really unique. And honestly, every time I talk about this palette, everyone talks about the Kitty Cat shade in here because it's so good. Next up, I'm going to go ahead and talk about this one because I know I talked about this in my first Undupable palette video. This is the Sugar Pill Edward Scissorhands palette. This palette's no longer available, but they are available in singles for these shades. And it is my favorite eyeshadow of all time. And it is Ice Angel by Sugar Pill. It is this one right here. It's Ice Angel and named after Edward Scissorhands. I love Edward Scissorhands. It's very soft. I've made a dent in this shade. It is a icy, <laughs> it's an icy white but it's so blue and there's tons, I have a ton of my collection that are like icy blue shades or like white shades but they have blue reflect to them and they have a little bit of glitter in there. This one is just really unique to me and I don't really know what it is about it other than it's just really stunning. It doesn't really look too blue until you're really looking at it but it definitely pulls like an icy blue reflect. That's kind of like a glacier color. It's so pretty. It hits the light beautifully. And again, I have a ton of white shades that pull like a blue hue to it, but they usually have like a little bit of glitter. They're not this soft. Or they don't go on well with the brush. This one applies perfectly with the brush. And something about the metallic finish of this and the beautiful blue sheen that it has is so unique to me. It looks blue on my hand, but on camera it looks white on my hand. So, I don't know. I love it. It's my fave. It's my fave! Alright, next up is the Sigma Enchanted palette. This is a newer palette that came out, and I had a hard time picking which one I thought was really the most unique, because personally, I really like this shade, which is the green. I think it's a really cool emerald color, and I have a lot of, like, olive -y and, like, foresty greens, but this one's a little bit unique to me. But for me, because I've tried to get tons of these kind of colors, like, even really popular shade is Glass Bowl by Colourpop, which is a single shadow, to get this kind of reflect, but this one does it a lot stronger of like a duochrome effect because it can go really strongly one way or really strongly the other. It has like a really nice enhancement that's not, ooh, it kind of reflects both ways. It's really strongly reflective, and this is Metamorphosis um, from the Sigma palette. I'm sure you guys have seen like a green purple shift before because they are pretty common nowadays. Like I mentioned, like Glass Bowl is really popular from ColourPop and they're in a bunch of other palettes as well where it looks green or it looks purple. This one goes really, really strongly that way and has a little bit of glitter in it. So this, let me swatch it out really wide right here, is how it looks because it's very green or it's very purple. And when it's very purple, like let me get another swatch so I can build it up. I've spread it out pretty good. So when it's really purple... It's kind of a deep purple. It's not just like a purple reflect. And when it's green, it's so metallic and beautiful. There's tons of different shades, like I mentioned, that have this kind of green purple reflect. But for me, this one's the most strong when it comes to the metallic switch of it. Because it's so strongly one way or the other. And I think it's really unique. And I really like it. I knew when I filmed this video, I was going to have a hard time finding mattes that were undupable. Um, but for me, a lot of the finishes and different kind of textures that come in shimmer metallics and stuff like that and like satin finishes are more unique than mattes. I feel like mattes have some really, really good colors that I love, but when it comes to like a different kind of finish and a different kind of like reflect or color hue to it, shimmers and metallics are the way to go. The next one is this, in this Focalore palette, is the Sunrise Impressionism palette by Focalore. We just tried the Focalore palettes in 
a video and did like a first impressions trying the brand and the shade we all fell in love with in that video is champagne it looks like this it kind of reminds me of the texture of like a huda palette and i just find this color really unique so this is what it looks like there's a lot of champagne -y colors in my collection but for some reason this one has a really like it's champagne yellow it's also pink and it's also green at the same time I don't know if we can even tell here but it just it's so beautiful and it's so unique and for being like a dupe brand or an affordable brand this color kind of blew me away there is a similar color in an ultra ego palette which is a dupe for Natasha Denona but for this price tag I found this color so stunning and so unique I just realized I was probably making a really bad face there because on camera you couldn't see the green but you can see the green in person. So the last palette is the one with the most unique shades in it and this is the Kaleidos Deep Steep palette. This has been out for a while, you guys, but the metallic -y shades in here are unlike anything else on the market, I think, because they're so weird and cool. And honestly, looking at the palette, it doesn't look like, ooh, but these are like, they're like water. Is that weird to say? Also, I got stuck in the rain. Don't judge my hair. Um, they're like, it's a soft texture, right? I don't know how to describe it. These textures are so unique. And the colors are like all duochromes. Like all the shimmeries are duochromes. So this is Sea Punk, which looks like a blue. And it's a really pretty icy like blue shade. And it's so stunning. These formulas are so soft, but they're pressed so nicely that you wouldn't know they're that soft. This next one is Twilight Zone, which is a like, well, it looks blue, but it's actually a purple. We see that there's the dark purple there's the blue and it, it goes both ways which is so cool and then the next one which I think is really unique is disco calypso which is the harder out of them it's more of a satiny finish but it is the more unique shade because it's very pink it's very purple and it's very blue all at the same focus time I feel like this one's so cool they're very unique color combinations like they all have a different reflect to them and the texture in here is amazing. Like, you only need to touch it a baby, baby bit. Use a brush. You don't even have to wet the brush for these. So I find these really unique. I find these really pretty. So this is the icy blue one. This next one is the purple pink blue one. Ooh, that looks so weird. <laughs> and then this is the Disco Calypso. I'll put it in the middle here for you. Ooh, it kind of rubbed into the other ones. But, um... See how it's like kind of just like water? I don't know, it's unique. And then this one turns like dark, then it's like a purple and it's kind of a blue at some points and this one's just so icy. Like, I don't know, there's something about the formula of these. Look, the colors are really cool too. Like, there's not colors you see these all the time. You don't see these colors all the time in this middle row. But the formula is so unique with these as well that I'm kind of like, ooh, what are you doing, Kaleidos? Because that was their first release and I didn't know if I was going to like like the brand when I first tried it out. But I'm kind of in love. And also they have their new highlighters coming out, you guys. The packaging. Anyways, you guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know what shade you think is undupable down below. And if you disagree with any of my choices, you know, it's just it's cool. It's just makeup. It's not a big deal. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.